Well, look, I've talked about it a few times now. Major, major warning for Labour. I know some in the mainstream media are the sort of parroting on as if Labour are 15, 20 points ahead and the Tories on the brink of complete collapse. The fact is, opinion at the weekends had Labour just two points ahead. And it seems even some of those in the Labour Party, in the senior ranks of the Labour Party, are telling Keir Starmer that his obsession with party gate was actually hurting the Labour Party's prospects. Shadow levelling up Secretary Lisa Nandy, apparently warning Starmer not to obsess over party gate. And I certainly think one of the big problems that Labour still has, I think they're London centric, I think they're metropolitan focused, I think they're pretty out of touch with the public when it comes to the issues that voters want to focus on. It isn't all about party gate, and yet that seems to be almost exclusively uh, what Starmer and Labour are interested in at the moment. And so you've got this situation where, reportedly, Huffington Post story, there was a shadow cabinet row with Lisa Nandy actually telling Starmer to stop focusing on party gate, a split erupting, calling instead for Labour to tell voters how they would tackle the cost of living crisis. Uh, as you might imagine, I think there were a few ruffled feathers over this. But a shadow cabinet minister quoted as saying, Lisa's not alone on this. There was strong agreement in the room to focus on the cost of living. And a source close to Nandy saying it was less a criticism of the party gate strategy, more a warning for the future. Lisa doesn't think that party gate is irrelevant at all, but the cost of living matters as well. And you mustn't lose sight of that. And I think, you know, one of the recent examples was the... UK Rwanda deal to try and stop illegal migration that Pretty Patel and Boris Johnson put forward. Plenty of criticism from the Labour Party. Absolutely no alternative plan whatsoever, from what I can see. And that sort of ploy of focusing on party gate and criticising everything the government does about any real sensible alternative solutions or policies ain't gonna wash. Interesting to see that Labour split in the run up to the May elections. Let me know what you make of that in the comments below, guys. And of course, as ever, thanks for watching.